Morning. I'm on a glorious morning. I can hear, I think actually, two bettons in the background. But, uh, first things first, coffee. Science. And you just put up rising. So, uh, Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I think I'm going to have wheat bits this morning. Lovely, 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 lovely. Coffee. Nummy, 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 nummy. Arm spoons all wet, so. Mm. I might be a bit stronger than I normally have it, but. Ooh. Might need it this morning. 5.02 in the morning. So I'm trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. Not because it's. Legal to be here. I just want to get here, get out, and take some photos as quickly as I can. <sighs> Although I do know where I'm going next week, I'm going down to place by Minehead because people are saying it's brilliant. Hopefully, the cuckoo's there. I haven't heard the cuckoo for a little while around here. Not to say it won't turn up. But there's one bird I am after for you guys. With a population of 228 booming males counted in 2022 and the UK weathering Stairs of 795. It has a length of 64 to 80 centimeters, wingspan 125 to 133 centimeters, weight 650 grams to 2 kilograms, lifespan max 11 years, but is probably closest to the average 4 years. These are rare and elusive birds, so accurate measurements of their longevity are difficult to judge. The low light of dawn and dusk provides the best chance of spotting the buttons. These are shy birds, rarely break cover and generally fly for short distances before dropping quickly out of sight. What is the habitat of the bittern? Bitterns are restricted to fresh and blackish water wetlands. They require a dense flooded fragmites, reed beds for nesting with small open areas where they can hunt for fish. They occupy various lower wetlands, particularly in Kent, East Anglia, Somerset, Lancaster and Yorkshire, when non-breeding birds may be seen in suitable habitats in much of England, parts of Wales and eastern Scotland. Bitterns boom most frequently in the spring breeding season, although some males begin as early as late January. They are most vocal between April and June, and the boom sounds like... Bitterns are the UK's loudest bird. It became extinct in the UK in the 1970s due to persecution drainage of their wetland habitats for agriculture. How are we helping the bitterns? The counts are based on the number of booming males which are individually identifiable by sound recordings since their voice patterns are unique. Due to low population size, the increased mortality during the harsh winter weather can bring about significant populations declines and even local extinctions. Creation of ice-free areas and supplementary feeding during the severe winter weather could reduce winter mortality substantially. What do bitterns eat? Bitterns are carnivorous birds. 
Eels and other fish are the principal prey, although they also hunt for frogs, insects, rodents, reptiles and small birds in and around the water. They use their excellent camouflage and quickly strike to catch their target and then swallow it whole. What's the bittern's nesting habits? Some males are polygamous and occasionally several nests, each built by different females, are found within the territory of one calling male. There is no pair bonding as such, and the males normally take no part in nest building or raising their young. The nest is a shallow platform of reed stems within the reed beds close to the water level. If the water level rises during the nesting period, the females will add more materials to the nest to keep it above the water level. Bitterns normally have one brood a year. It's suspected that a replacement clutch is laid as a first is lost, though there is no firm evidence on this. In 1998, RSPB research discovered that bitterns are capable of double brooding, with the discovery that one female raised two successful broods. However, it is not known how exceptional this record is. A clutch of five to six olive brown eggs, each measuring approximately 53 millimeters long and 38 millimeters wide, are laid at two to three day intervals. Clutches start between the end of March and mid July. Incubation starts with the first egg, lasting for 25 to 26 days, and hatching is stretched over the period of several days. The young are cared for by the female, who feeds the young directly from regurgitated food. By eight days of age, the youngs are able to adopt a typical bitten stand when alarmed, and when 15 to 16 days old, they will leave the nest at times, clambering over the surrounding vegetation. The young fledge at 50 to 55 days of age and become independent soon after. The females are able to breed successfully in their first year. Want to win a free canvas? All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and type in the comments, I want a canvas. For more information, click on the cards above. Upcoming videos include Cuckoo Grebe Hobby Avocet Reed Bunting Ringed Plover If you enjoyed this video, try this one, or click Car Travel Playlist to see them all. Cheers, bye!